Hey parents, welcome to Gail's Corner. Did you know that there is a hidden gem right on Baylor's campus that most students and certainly most parents never set foot in? It's called the Armstrong Browning Library and I have Rachel Bates here who's going to tell us a little bit about it. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Gail, for coming. Um, this special library is not only just a research library, it is a museum here on campus as well. And anyone is welcome to come in. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and it's always free. That's always the perk. So um, for those parents that have students that might be in class and they're visiting Waco and want something to do, it's always a great option to come in. We have something for everyone. We have the architect here. We have the history, the literature. Um, the art for them to come and look at. It has a little bit of everything for everyone. Well, tell us about the people behind this library. Browning, of course. Absolutely. Armstrong. Absolutely. So Armstrong is for Dr. A.J. Armstrong. He was head of the English department here at Baylor for 40 years. Um, and being an English professor, he had a deep love and admiration for literature and Robert Browning. So Robert Browning was a famous 19th century Victorian poet. He was famous um, in his lifetime, actually, and he was married to another famous poet at the time, Miss Elizabeth Barrett Browning. And so what this building here at Baylor is, is it is a library and museum totally dedicated to the study of the Brownings. And we host the largest Browning um, collection, meaning artifacts, manuscripts, uh, art, in the entire world. Wow, that's incredible. And I understand that, how did uh, Mr. Armstrong or Dr. Armstrong get this built? Absolutely. He, um, at the time, he was actually had a small Browning room in the Carroll Library, um, and his collection of Browning artifacts grew and grew and outgrew the small room that he had at the Carroll Library, and he went to the president at the time, who was Pat Neff, and asked if he could have some money <laughs> to build this gorgeous building, and Pat Neff said, sure, here's $100,000, and um, Dr. Armstrong was like, thank you, <laughs> but I was thinking more along the lines of maybe around 1.5 million. And so um, Pat Neff at the time said, sure, that's great, but you have to come up with it on your own. And so Dr. Armstrong um, was a genius at fundraising and came up with the money and now um, we obviously get to make the benefits of it. Well, he sure proved his love of the Brownings number one. But wow. lastly, tell me about these stunning glass windows. That's probably one of our number one attributes to this building. Um, people come from literally all over the world just to see this collection. We do have the largest secular collection of stained glass windows in the world. Um, and the windows on the second floor, um, most of the time they will depict Robert Browning's poetry. And then the windows on the third floor are going to depict Elizabeth Barrett Browning's poetry. And um, we even have some new windows that were installed in the early like, 2000s that depict their life in Italy together. That is so fascinating. You have furniture that they had in their lifetime, a, a lot of Italian influence. And the best news is, if you are coming into town for homecoming, on Friday before homecoming between 9 and 1, they are having open house, really? Yeah, and hourly tours from hours 9 to 1. 9 to 1, so you don't have to book it in advance. You can just come in and participate and just drink in this beautiful, stunning thing that we have right here on Baylor's campus. See you then. Absolutely.